All right, let's look at this problem called medium of two sorted arrays. So we are given two sorted arrays, and we have to find the median of the two sorted arrays. Overall runtime complexity should be of log m plus n. So that's the bit which makes this problem a little bit hard. Because if you are given two sorted arrays, what you could do is you can merge them, right? If you merge them, uh, what's will the time complexity when you're merging it? You have to look at each and every element. So uh, time complexity could be O of m plus n. And after merging, you know, so merging two sorted arrays, you'll still get a sorted array, and then you can find the median quite easily. So the bit is around, you want to solve it without fully merging it. And it says log, that sort of gives you a hint that we have to do, use some sort of a binary search. So let's look at some examples. Uh, let's look at, so for example, okay, this is quite basic. So one, three, and two, the merge array will be one, two, three, and so the median is two. Here, one, two, and three, four, the merge array will be one, two, three, four, and the median is this. Uh, the, you take these two and by two, that's the answer. Now, what do we have to understand here? Well, we're not really interested in merging the entire array. We're only interested in finding uh, in the merged array, we are finding, interested in only finding the middle element or the top two middle elements, or like those are the only bits that we're interested in. So when you merge the array, so you have array A and array B, when you merge them together, only bit that I'm interested in probably is, uh, is these four elements, right? Uh, the A left, A right, uh, B left, and B right. So these are the only four elements that I'm interested in. Uh, and for example, here, A left is two, B left, right? So basically the merger is this one, two, and three, four, right? So clearly here, from the first, uh, the A, A left is two, A right is nothing, right? Similarly, B left is nothing, and B right is three. So that's the, the four elements. Uh, so for whatever, you know, you take some elements from A, like you divide A into these two parts, and divide B into some of these parts, right? And so basically this and this combined will be the total left part and this plus is combined with the total right part. So what I'm interested in is these two elements and these two elements at max. And obviously um, it's possible like in, in this example, the entire uh, array can be on the left, the entire array can be on the right. So it's possible that A left, one of these, like uh, some of these might just be non-existent because you know you could just do something like this entire A is taken and this entire B is taken, right? So in this case, uh, this will be your A left and there will be no A right. This will be your B right, there will be no B left and all of those things. And how do you handle those? You can add them as minus infinity and plus infinity. Now, how do we do this? So to begin with, we'll take, we'll, we can start with the middle of one of the two elements, right? So one of the two arrays. So let's say A and B, we apply binary search and the way to apply binary search would be, uh, I divide B into two parts, right? Just at, at, the, at the middle and then remaining elements I take from A. And then I check uh, whether that would actually be the middle. And how do you check that? So the bit that we are, we are aware of, or we know for sure is A left is less than equals to A right, uh, B left is less than equals to B right. That's a given because A and B are sorted. But then when we select a random to begin with, like from dividing in the middle at B, um, we will get, uh, we want to also verify this bit, which is A left is less than equals to B right, because both A left and B left have to be on the left side and both A right and B have to be on the right side. And so this and this conditions have to be met. Uh, B left is less than equals to A right. If this condition is not, if this condition is met, then we know that we have got the right partition. If this condition is not met, then we have to do something, right? And what we have to do something is then we will uh, figure out like uh, which of these conditions are breaking and based on that. So for example, let's say, uh, let's say this, this condition is not uh, passing. What does that mean? That means A left is less than equals to B right uh, is not passing, that means a left is greater than B right. That means we have to take lesser elements from A left. So whatever uh, you divide that A in, you divide that A left into two parts, right? Uh, so for example, what I mean by that is, let's say this is your A left, and this A left is greater than B right. That means you have to reduce the size. So you divide it further into two halves, and you just take this much, and you keep doing that 
Uh, so you're applying that sort of a binary search. So, and when you're applying the binary search, you would want to apply the binary search on the smaller array just to improve on time complexity. So first thing that you do is if nums one dot land is equal to equal to is uh, well if it's greater than nums two dot land, you you basically want to assume that nums one is smaller, right? So if that's not the case, then you do This is just to ensure that nums1 is smaller and we're gonna apply the binary search on nums1. So our time complexity will be O of uh, min of length of nums1 and so nums2, which is fair. And what we do is you start with, let's find some basic things, right? How many total elements are there? So total elements are nums land plus nums land. Okay, so how many, if you half it, what would be the size? So half would be total by two, right? Now let's do L and R. And this L and R is binary search we're applying on the nums, the smaller one. So L equals to zero, R equals to nums one dot length minus one. And now I'm I'm gonna do while true. Uh, what do we do? So first, we, initially what we do is this, we take the middle element, uh, let's call it I, is, uh, L plus R by two, right? So this I is the index. So from that essentially means that we'll take zero to I in uh, nums one is left, is in left part, right? So how many elements, what will be the index? Similarly, zero to J in nums two you want to take. So what will be the, what will be J? So J will be, obviously, you know, Total number of elements in the left part has to be half. And how many elements have been taken from the, uh, the nums one? I plus one, right? If I is index and I plus one is the number of elements. And so these are the number of elements you want to take uh, from nums two. These are the number of elements, what will be the index? If you want to take 10 elements, what will be the last index? It will be nine, like zero to nine. So because of zero based, you will do minus one. So what you mean is zero to I in zero to J in nums two is in left part. Okay, now well, that's good. Now, there can be some situations here that you need to understand, which is the situations can be, uh, you take the full array, you take uh, like, for example, here and here, you take, there is nothing in, there is no B left or B left probably would be minus one in that case, right? Because uh, complete B uh, was in the right side. There's nothing on the left, in the left side that comes from B. So those situations you need to handle. So let's define uh, uh, A left equals to, so A left is, if I is greater than equals to zero, then you don't have any problem. If I is greater than equals to zero, then it's simply nums one of i. Otherwise, it, you just give it some very uh, less value. So you give it integer dot min value. And you want to type cost into double. This is your a left. Now similarly, we can also do a right and so a right is what? You want to see i plus 1 should be less than nums one dot length, right? It belongs in the array and in the right side, you want to see if you are getting out of the array. If that is if that is the case, then it's simply nums one of i plus one. Otherwise, you just give it All right now. Let me see if there is 
issues with there are some issues there okay all go this is good right and similarly you can get b left and b right so b left you are looking at j looking at nums 2 of j and similarly right Right, so you get some of these A left and B left, A right and B right. Now what do you do? Now you check if it's meeting the condition. And what is that condition? So if A left is less than equals to B right and A right is less than equals to, sorry, B left is less than equals to A right, then you have found the right partition. And now it's easy. There are two conditions here. If the total is odd, then what does it mean? Uh, then you have to find the middle element. The middle element would be what? Middle element will be smaller of, uh, smaller of which two? So when you do LPSR by two, right? Um, let's, say, let's say your size is 13. So what you would have done is, you would have said half in your uh, half will be 13 by two will be six. So six elements will be there. So the first two the elements on the right side, right? So max of A right and B right, rather mean of A right. So you do return math dot min A right, B right, that's it. And if this is even, let's say 12, so you do 12 by two is six. So you have six elements from in this six elements in here. Uh, so you have to do the max of the left and the mean of the right. So you do, max of left so a left b left and min of the right so not the min and just divide these by two this is great now what if the first condition fails, which is if A left is greater than B right, what does this mean? This means that you are taking more elements from A. You want to take less less elements from A. So to take less elements from A, what we do is we do right equals to I minus one, right? And so you're taking less elements from there. Now it will reduce that uh, portion that you're taking from A into half and to the left side of it. And now in that, if you want more then you will increase, right? That's, that's how this binary search will work else you will do uh, uh, in case or you take more elements from a more elements that means you'll do i equals to l plus one and now you're taking more elements from a now there is one problem here in, in all of this the problem is this look at this guy right now here the smaller ones this will get becomes uh, because you're doing this bit so for this element you will have L as zero, R as zero. You will get here, I will be zero and whatever J will be, it will be, right? Now, this guy is not on the, this guy cannot be on the left side because you do one, two, three, three, three by two is one, half will only contain one. So half the left side should only contain one. And the right side should contain two and three. So because this two cannot be on the left, this condition will be broken. And it will say, I need to take lesser elements from A. So it will do R equals to zero minus one. So R will become minus one. Now, when you come here, you do zero minus one by two, it will again be zero. That's the problem. So the problem is this. There's only one condition, which is you don't want A at all. So which will be, this works if L is less than equals to R. Then this helps R by two works, but if that's not the case, then you need to take is minus one. 
right? Because basically, if L is less than or equals to R, then what, what really it means is that you want to not take anything from it. Because the other case where uh, R equals to L plus one on the right extreme, you will never reach that case, right? Because you want all elements, you just take all elements, your right will be equal to L, and that will be the final, that will be the final thing. Uh, like you won't have to go further. So that is it. Now let's run. All right, it works. Uh, let's submit. And great. All right. 